Cannon, so I just wanted to make a quick video about um, St. Dolores Cannon, or actually just uh, the prefix Saint. And the idea is uh, that um, sainthood has traditionally only been given uh, after a person is dead. And um, so they are in spirit, right? And uh, Dolores Cannon is dead. And, well, she did a lot of good stuff. Uh, but now she comes through through channelings, uh, such as uh, Pamela Arlen. And so uh, when we're talking about uh, Dolores Cannon, um, there's uh, what she did while she was incarnated, which is one thing. And then uh, the things that she said uh, after she was deceased uh, via channels. And so... Uh, I can uh, refer to what St. Dolores Cannon said, like uh, that there's over 2 billion starseeds incarnated on, on this earth, making this uh, one of the largest parties, um, intergalactic parties in uh, the universe, that I'm aware of anyways. <laughs> so yeah, uh, good fun times. So um, it's just an interesting way of uh, using the saint prefix i mean so i guess it could be like saint yeshua for jesus and uh saint uh horus and saint other stuff uh this is just kind of like taking away the verb uh from the catholic church and using it as um something functional uh something that uh anyone can use just whenever someone is uh channeled uh, in, in that way, it makes it easier to distinguish between uh, what they said while they were alive and what they said uh, when they were deceased. Because when someone is deceased, they have kind of a different perspective on everything. And, um, you know, it is different. Alright, okay.